So number 16, 2019, paper 1, we are told a bus price between two towns, P and R, via town Q. On each day, it departs from P at 8.15 a.m. and stop for 40 minutes at Q before proceeding to R. On a certain day, the bus took 5 hours, 40 minutes to travel from P to Q and 3 hours, 15 minutes to, to, pra, to, to travel from Q to R. Finding 24-hour clock system the time the bus arrived at R. Uh, in Form 1, you are taught about time, that is the 12-hour system and uh, the 24-hour system. And this question may be may seem too wrong, but it is very simple. So don't be scared by uh, the, 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 the number of words used. It is very simple. So we say that uh, it starts the journey at 8.15. In 24-hour clock, we, we write, uh, we start with zero when it is, this is a.m. So it took uh, five hours, 40 minutes to travel from Q to P. So we add five hours and 40 minutes. So when you add this, you get this is five, this is five, uh, this is eight plus uh, 8 plus 5 you get 13 so this is hours then it is stopped for 40 minutes at uh, town uh, Q so it means uh, what this means is that uh, uh, you add 40 minutes to the time by uh, it arrived uh, to town Q so this is 40 40 minutes uh, we can write it like that you add you get five now this is nine and uh, so 90 minutes and we know an hour has 60 minutes so we say just say this is three we carry one this is four and this is uh one so 14 35 uh, that is when it departed to point uh, r so point r to get to town r it took uh, 3 hours 15 minutes so this is now not uh, 15 but uh, 14 that 5 you add to you add 3 hours and uh, uh, 15 minutes so when you add this we are adding uh, so we get this is 0 this is 4 this is 5 and this you get uh, uh, seven and you get five hours uh, so that is the time it got to town R uh, 1750 24 hour system which is the same as five hour five five fifty p.m. or we can say in a common language common man language it did it arrived to town R uh, at uh, 10 minutes to 6 so that is how you work it out, very simple, and you get yourself three marks. So that brings us to the end of uh, part A of this question. Uh, we'll be looking at part B of section 2 of 2019 paper 1.